Good morning. Today I'm going to do the star flower design. Uh, I've had a few people request it and a lot of people have shown interest in it. So that's what I'm going to do today. So what I've started with is a tapestry. It's been soaked in soda ash, spun out, so this is just slightly damp. And that does make it easier to tie uh, this design as if the tapestry is slightly damp. So, and then I've already folded in half and then in quarters here, so just because the table is small, I didn't have room for the whole thing. So anyway, so I've done two folds on it so far, and now I'm going to start doing the airplane folds. So I'm going to grab that first side there, and then we're going to pick it up, do the second fold in there. And then we're going to fold it back one more time here. So this is just basically the airplane fold. Uh, as you do this, make sure everything is straight and flat here. Once I get all of my folds done, then I'm going to start here at the point. Flip this around. And it doesn't... I don't think it makes too much difference which way you wrap, but I usually like to wrap going towards the outside corners here. So that's the way I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm also going to draw a line on here so I can see where the outside of the tapestry is right there. I want my design to come just out to there, but I want to leave just a little bit of a border. So if you mark that ahead of time, it helps you. And then from there, I'm going to just grab this point. Let's see if I can zoom in. Okay, so I'm just going to grab that point and just start twisting. And as you twist, you just got to kind of help the creases on there. So I'm just going to keep twisting and folding just so that everything lays in there nice and neatly. So if you have to kind of crease it a little bit up here, you can do that and that will help it lay down flatter. And you just keep twisting. You do have to hold a lot of pressure on this because it does want to unwrap. You got several layers of fabric here and they all want to come undone. So you just have to kind of manhandle it a little bit. So I'm just going to keep twisting and creating more of these creases to fold down along the sides here. And then once I get to my outer line, then I'm going to take some kite string and you guys can use kite string, rubber bands, whatever. Rubber bands might not hold it as tight as you need it to. But my kite string or sometimes I use embroidery thread if I run out of kite string. That might be what this is. But I'm just getting a few wraps on there to hold that nice and tight. I'll wrap it down just a little bit more. this back just a little bit just so I can get one more wrap across this way here. Okay, once you get that tied up nice and neatly, then the rest of this I'm just going to scrunch it up. This is going to be the outer edge around my star flower. So, you're just going to scrunch it up. And if you want, you can wrap all the way. I just like to center my star flower in the middle there. But if you want to do it all the way out to the edges, you could just wrap this all the way up. But I'm going to tie mine off here. With this scrunch. some dye so and 
since there's so many layers, and like I say, this is damp, you're going to need to make sure you saturate it really well. And that's not going to mean pouring a lot of dye on all at once. That means putting some dye on, let it soak in, come back and add more dye to it. And you might have to do that a few times to get nice, easy, sat even saturation. The other thing you can do probably is a nice ice dye on that. But the way that I would mark this off, since I have my line right here, I know this is how far I want my dye to come to. And then I'm going to put some lines on here so I could dye this up just like I would dye a spiral with the little pieces of pie. So I know that this here, let's center in and zoom in a little bit. This part here is going to be my star flower and this is going to be the outer edge. So we'll come back to that. But I also wanted to show you how to do this on a t-shirt. Now a t-shirt, I don't center it in the, in the center of the design. Let's zoom back out. Just because it's hard to get all that much fabric folded up and then twist it in the middle. It can be done, I have done it, but on a t-shirt the way I prefer to do it is to pick one of the corners, whether it's one of the top sleeves or the bottom, and then you just do the same thing. You're going to do the airplane folds. Just like that on the t-shirt, and then you could even Fold that back one more time just to get even more in there. Flip it over. And then I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing. So make sure your folds are lined up here. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to twist. Oh, let me flip this over that I'm going away from the sleeve there just to make it easier. Twist that up. And like I say, I just keep trying to create the creases and you just got to hold it really tight here at the center as you work that up. So I'm just creasing it here and then twist in those creases right into the design. And for this one, we'll just go ahead and work all the way up the t-shirt, tie the whole thing off in the star flower design. get this video posted today but I won't have the results until later but I do have what this t-shirt looks like so I'll put that up to start with so you can get a general idea of what the flower star flower design is going to look like and then once the tapestry is completely done then I'll post a picture of it so you can see the the whole star flower this here is just going to give you a partial view of the star flower Okay, that's the video. If you like my videos, please give them a thumbs up. It helps improve my ratings on YouTube, and feel free to share them anywhere you like. Thank you.